RealCatholicTV.com cordially invites you and your family on a week-long Catholic cruise around the Eastern Caribbean aboard the luxurious Norwegian Cruise Lines from January 9th to 16th. Guest speakers include RealCatholicTV.com's Michael Voris, as well as Marcus Grodi, Father Frank Pavone, Ray Garendi, and Janet Morana. Come enjoy the warm ocean breeze, the relaxation and the refreshment of body and soul, all aboard the awe-inspiring ocean liner, The Pearl. Come with us to the beautiful Eastern Caribbean. For details, go to CatholicTVCruise.com. That's CatholicTVCruise.com. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Michael Voris here filling in for Vic Faust. First up today, Archbishop Raymond Burke, a top Vatican official and former Archbishop of St. Louis, is calling out Catholics who bring scandal to the church. He's demanding that they publicly repent because of the very public nature of their sin. He especially singles out Catholic politicians who favor abortion and homosexual marriage and support contraception. Many pro-life groups are wondering when the warnings from the Vatican will turn into solid action like excommunications. In a shocking display, the Empire State Building has turned bright red to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Communist Revolution in Red China. You heard right. New Yorkers are not happy about the display, but organizers say the display is not about celebrating communism, but rather to honor the 1.3 billion Chinese people whose country came into existence 60 years ago. Still, about 40 to 50 protesters have gathered outside the Empire State Building, many of them of Chinese descent. They called the display a disgrace. More than 50 million Chinese were killed or starved to death in the Cultural Revolution, which brought the Communists to power in China. Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona has found himself the subject of criticism due to some frank comments he made at a recent conservative conference. Over the weekend, Franks said President Barack Obama was, quote, the enemy of humanity, end quote, because of his aggressive pro-abortion record. Franks has issued a statement clarifying and defending those remarks, especially from critics who did not realize he was referring to abortion. He says in his quote, My recent comment regarding President Obama was specifically related to the president's policies on abortion. For that reason, I should have certainly said unborn humanity. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. CatholicUnderground.com, the podcast about our Catholic faith and new media. And DFWCatholic.org, spreading the truth one city at a time. Most viewers can easily pinpoint the pro-abortion bias in news reports by the so-called mainstream media, but former CBS newsman Dan Rather is confirmation of what they already know. Rather, will headline a fundraising event for a local affiliate of Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota tapped Rather to be the keynote speaker at its October 13th banquet at the Minneapolis Hilton. Giving Planned Parenthood $5,000 will guarantee the pro-abortion donor a seat next to Mr. Rather. During his tenure as CBS's, CBS Evening News' main anchor, rather routinely slanted his coverage in favor of pro-abortion causes. And finally today, conservatives are crying foul in the matter of Roman Polanski, the Hollywood legend who was arrested over the weekend for a charge of statutory rape going back 30 years. Polanski had sex with a 13-year-old girl and then skipped the country to avoid prosecution. Once he was arrested this weekend, liberals came out of the woodwork to defend their pal. Conservatives are saying the media and liberal elites are holding him to an entirely different standard than they did Catholic priests during the height of the clergy sex abuse scandal. I'm Michael Voris. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure and check out The Vortex where we talk about today the nonsense liberals spew and their ridiculous claim about having common ground. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tell your friends about us. God bless. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom.
and theamericancatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective.